So if you're interested in learning how to create a website like this or a website like this and not pay hundreds of dollars for that website and learn how to do it in 10 minutes or less, then you wanna keep watching this video. So you guys asked and I am about to deliver. I'm gonna show you guys how to build your own Shopify store in easy steps. So I love how Shopify is easy for everyone to navigate. We're gonna get right into this. So I'm on a three day free trial. I, you guys know I have my store already on Shopify, but I wanted to create a whole entire new store just for you guys. So these are the themes that you have to choose from on Shopify. So if you want this entire process to be easier, what you can do is go on Etsy and you are going to look for Shopify templates. These are easy things that you can download. You purchase them, you download them, and you customize it with your brand's images. And this is going to literally set up everything for you so you won't have to do all of these other steps that I am about to show you guys. So as you guys can see, they have really affordable ones and then they have more expensive ones. But if you really wanna keep the price like $5, $3, then what you can do is just purchase a banner where you are able to customize this banner with your brand's logos, like with your brand's colors, with your models with your tech i love this option and it's very affordable so let's go back over to shopify and we are going to pick a theme so the theme is going to depend on how you want your store to look you can go for something like this which is very easy very simple i feel like this is straight to the point okay so let's choose a theme that we like these are free themes they do have it where you are able to purchase some themes but we are going to go with the theme dawn okay guys so we have the theme Dawn loaded hair. Okay, so we're gonna start from the top and we're gonna start here. Welcome to our store. I'm gonna change this to what I would like it to say. You can also add a link here. So if you're gonna link this to a certain page, a certain product, you guys can put that in the link there. So when someone clicks on Pinkaholics, it will take them to a certain page or a product. But I wouldn't link it to anything. I just like the way it looks up there. So we're gonna keep that like that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to change the pages like home, catalog, contact. I'm gonna show you guys later on. But for now, we're just gonna leave that like that because we're just gonna design the website. You can change this in the menu pages, which I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so we are going to click on the image banner. What you wanna do is insert your own images. First image, and I'm just gonna upload. I just got a few um, of the pictures from the website and I'm just gonna use that. You would put the images wherever you wanna put it. Of course, you would have a lot of different images because it's for your business. Like you gotta have a lot of different images and product shots and stuff like that. Those are the two images. I'm just gonna leave it like that. This is gonna change the brightness. Like as you can see, it became darker around it. If you want it to be even darker, then you would just slide it back more. If you want it to be lighter, then you would slide it up. I don't like the dark effect, so I'm just gonna leave it bright because like I want my website to be bright. <laughs> I don't want it to be dark. You can change the size of of the banner you can make it smaller you can make it bigger i'm just gonna stick with the medium then desktop this is like if the person is shopping on your website but they're on the desktop this is a separate menu for that but for right now we're gonna skip that so now we're gonna go down to the color scheme you would edit this color scheme according i wouldn't do a white text because you can't really see the words so i would do a black text right here you can select a animation i would just do the fixed background position right here we have mobile content alignment we want it to be center of course so that is the banner again i would use purchase it on etsy and then use canva to edit it and create more of a custom banner but this i'm just using what shopify has we are going to head over to the featured products so to show your featured product we're gonna have to go over back to our shopify so i'm gonna go ahead and save where we got so far shopify we're gonna go to products and we have to create collections so this is going to be a way to sort your product so i'm going to create a collection for best sellers because we're going to need this stuff later so then i'm going to go back and i'm going to create a selection for sale where i can put products for sale on my page i have selections for cosmetics i have selections for apparel i have selections for hair phone accessories. This is going to be linked back in your menu. So this is why you want to do that. So let's do a F E.
most wanted. I'm gonna go to products because you need to have products inside of your collections. So I'm just gonna make random products. This does not count. Whatever product you're putting, this would be your actual product. But for example, I'm just putting whatever hoodie. So this would be for the hoodie. And this is how it looks when you are creating a product. So I'm gonna add, for the hoodie, I'll use this picture. I'm gonna put the price $100. You always want this to be sexy, you guys. You have to charge tax on your products because you're gonna get taxed. So the price is 100. If you want it to be on sale, like say it's $200, but you're marking it down for 100, this is where you would compare the price at. So I'm gonna put it for $100, the price. I'm just gonna leave like that because I'm not putting it on sale. But if I was putting it on sale, I would use both of them. Here you can include the cost per item but this will not show to the public eye as just letting you know, like let's say I paid $30 per sweatsuit, that would be my profit, which is amazing. So then here you would put how much inventory, you wanna know how much you have in stock to keep up to date with your inventory. So if you have 10 sweatsuits or 30, 40, 50, you wanna put that number. This depends if you guys want to continue selling the product once it is out of stock, but I usually don't select that. And here you wanna put the weight of the product Let's say it, I'm not gonna put a pound, I was about to. Let's put 20 ounces. This is just a random example. Um, if this sweatsuit comes in different colors, you would put the different colors, but this one only comes in pink. But we are gonna add different sizes. Option name, we're gonna put S I D E size. We're gonna add a small, medium, large, extra large. And as you guys can see, if you want to charge more for like a bigger size, like this is good for like, when I make my teddy bear boots, the bigger the boot, the more it costs. I would have to go ahead and change these prices according to what the size is. So then you can choose your inventory. Let's say you have 10 sweatsuits each. It's gonna be active. We're not drafting it. If you didn't wanna post it, you could put it as a draft. But since we're gonna publish it, we're gonna put publish. So this is where you could put the products in your collection. Let's say this is a bestseller. So we're gonna add that in there. And then we're just gonna press save. Do not forget your description. I'm just gonna generate something really quick. I'm gonna keep that in there. I'm just gonna save that. Don't skip out on the description of your products, you guys. You can use ChatGPT, but you have to give it more information about your product. I just put a pink sweatsuit. <laughs> okay, so I have my three products. So we're gonna go to Dawn right here. This is the one that you guys seen that we were customizing. But before I go there, I want to go to navigation so that we can customize this. We're going to go to main menu because when I go on someone's website and I only see catalog, that just tells you that they were lazy with setting up their store because they didn't customize it or maybe they didn't know how. So I'm showing you guys how because I really don't like seeing that. So we are going to customize the top menu. So let's say you're going to keep your homepage. Then here, it depends what you're selling but I'm just gonna make the page as if I was making it. Shoes, I put shoes, then I would hit here to search or paste a link. We're gonna go to collections. So you would put your shoe collection, okay? So name of the page, shoe, then you would link it to the shoe collection. Then here, you would edit that again. About us page, like that, add a menu, then you would add more stuff, beauty. And then you would select the link, go to the collections, and then you would put beauty. That obviously doesn't say beauty. And then if you're adding more stuff, you would literally continue to do that. Let's say I'm putting clothing, then I would put clothing, collections, clothing. You guys see these little dots right here? This is how you can arrange how it's going to look. So homepage, about us, shoes, beauty, clothing. Press save, because you want it to save. And another cool thing is that you can actually add sub menus. So let's say in this beauty category, lip gloss. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna select a random one, collections, it will be lip gloss, and I'm gonna press add. So let's say under beauty, I wanted to add lip gloss, I'm gonna drag that. So when you're on the website and you wanna look at beauty products, you would select the beauty and you would get lip gloss, eyeshadow, blah, 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 blah. You guys get the example. So that's how the menu is gonna look. We're gonna go back to the theme and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. We're gonna go to customize. And as you guys can see, the header is now corrected. Okay, so we have the menu, we have the banner, but now we are going to scroll down. As you guys can see, these are the featured products. So the featured product is gonna go according to whatever collection you put here. And as you guys can see, the website 
functions very appropriately. Like I clicked on one of the featured products and it took me to one of the hoodies and this is what you guys would see like if you use this theme. So this is what we are working with right now. So subscribe to our emails. If you want to collect your customers' emails, which you should want to collect your customers' emails, this is where they are able to put their email inside of because you set this up. Now, if this is too simple for you, you can always add things. That's what I like about Shopify. Like you can add stuff to your website. Like if you want to add a more product list, if you want to add text like this, if you want to have text with image, that's like an image and then a text on the side. If you want to do side shows and stuff like that, email sign up, contact form. If you want to collect like a lot of information, if you want to add a video, everything is customizable on Shopify. And as you guys can see, it's super easy to set up. Like let's say I wanted to add another collection to the website. I would just click on that and this way I would be able to add multiple collections. Like I would have a beauty, apparel, shoes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go in the mode where I can actually preview the website. So this would be a preview of a simple, easy setup website. You're able to set this up within minutes and you're able to start getting sales. Of course, once you put yourself on a Shopify plan, because they're not gonna let you get sales if you're not on a paid plan. So this is literally how you set up your website. It's very simple. Like I said, you would just customize it a little bit more, but I definitely recommend you guys to use Etsy because it's gonna make your website not seem so bland and just like simply put together, even though there's nothing wrong with that. As you guys can see, I have this website here Pinkaholic. This is like a second website that I use. I have this website here. It's straight to the point. You see what you get, you buy what you want. That's it. It's super easy, but I love a good customized website. Like these banners are absolutely amazing. So this right here is my website. This is the website that I use actively. I use Etsy to buy this top banner here. I use Etsy for this hour mission. I use Etsy for this sale banner, which it came with multiple different ones that I can choose from. I use Etsy for that and I use Etsy for this and I use Etsy for that. That sounds so funny, but yes, as you guys see here, I have a 10% off for your order. Basically how my website is set up, like I said, I have everything pretty well sorted out and it goes according to collections. So that's how you want your website to be easy to navigate you guys. Like I said, I love Etsy and customizing this on Canva. So I highly recommend you guys to do that because it's very different than just creating a basic website. And that you guys is gonna complete this video. I hope you guys found this video very helpful and you're able to watch this and build your website. Come on you guys, let's get those websites and those businesses going.